Hey there, MJ traders and investors. It's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth. Today is Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's Monday, October 31st. And in this video, we're going to be going over uh, some exciting news that developed today in the MJ industry. Chuck Schumer said that Congress is very close to passing MJ banking and expungement bill. And we're going to take a look at that and more. We also had record monthly volume on CGC, so Canopy Growth and MSOS, the ETF, on the NASDAQ. So we're going to take a look at all that and more. Before we get to it, though, make sure to smash like, help support me in the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're new, you can subscribe, tick the bell, all that good stuff. But essentially, we're your home for MJ stocks, crypto assets, and interviews. So I did a video. I actually did an interview and posted this video not too long ago. Uh, and this was two months ago with the political director, Morgan Fox, at Normal. They are a nonprofit that lobbies the U.S. government with regards to MJ legalization. And basically, in that, I asked him the question. I said, how confident are you that we could get something done by the end of this year? And what would you say is the likelihood, you know, percentage percentage chance of something getting passed in the lame duck. So here between now and the end of the year, and he agreed with me, he said there was a very high chance and he said probably 80%, uh, 80 to 90% that it gets passed uh, before the end of the year in that lame duck session, which would come after the November 8th election. So that's gonna be a very interesting week ahead for MJ stocks and more importantly, the next couple months I think are gonna be even more important because if that happens, if we get safe banking and you know the traditional financial world can lend money to MJ companies and um, you know we're able to transact with credit cards and things like that when you go to purchase it in the US, that's going to be huge for the industry and that's gonna create a ton, a ton of new people and new in, new investors. Um, you know, We're gonna to start to see the stigma likely shift and then ultimately what I'm looking for is the rescheduling because if we can get rescheduling, um, obviously that is going to bring mass CPG and we're gonna see big, big companies, conglomerates enter the space, right? We know that Jones Soda just entered this space. We know that PepsiCo has been trialing Rockstar Hemp for a couple of years now. Uh, and they tried it in Germany about almost two years ago. So the fact that they are getting into trials more than likely means that if Jones Soda is getting into the space that Pepsi's probably next. And what other big uh, you know, uh, soft drink company do we know, right? I don't even have to say it. But then not just that, there's going to be mass CPG, right? We're going to see uh, all different sectors, all different types of uh, industries, right? Not just uh, in you know the soft drink section, right? There's going to be, you know, functional foods, all this stuff, right? Pet foods. There's going to be so many applications for it. So once we get rescheduling and then also uplisting to the NICE and the NASDAQ, that is going to be huge. And that could all come here in the next few months. And this was the article from J Moment. Schumer says that Congress is very close to passing MJ banking and an expungement bill, expungement bill after work with a bunch of Republicans. So essentially, I'm not going to read all this. I'll just summarize it uh, for you here real quickly. So essentially, he just said that you know, they're working very hard to get this done and that they're getting very close. And essentially, uh, they go on to say that uh, it could happen between now and the end of the year in a lame duck session. Uh, but he thinks that there's a good chance that it could happen here uh, in the next two to three months, which lines up with exactly what I've been saying for a while now as well. And like I said, in this video, uh, that was one of my questions was how, what, how, you know, how, what's the likelihood, uh, how likely is it that we're going to see something get passed between now and the end of the year with rates to safe banking? And he said 80, I'm pretty sure he said 80% in that video. And that was two months ago. So you didn't need uh, Chuck Schumer. Uh, you were kind of given a, a heads up if you're tuned into that uh, normal interview. If there's a company, you know, normal, that's lobbying the government and it's a nonprofit, chances are they're probably going to have some information that we, uh, we, we would all want to listen to. Uh, but essentially, uh, they also go on about a 15 year old that was busted over a small amount of MJ and how it ruined his life. And, you know, basically on the same level as, as heroin. So, uh, that, that's pretty much all it's really said. Like, uh, there's nothing too, uh, nothing else that stood out too much. I just wanted to summarize that real quickly here, but I'll try to keep the video as short as possible because I didn't want to bring up CGC here as well. CGC has a monthly record, monthly volume here, the most in its history on the NASDAQ. And as we know, so many people will say, well, back here, the share price was worth way more. And, you know, it ended up being about the same thing. But the difference is, is volume usually precedes price, right? And that's where we get a capitulated bottom, right? We're coming off monthly, uh, monthly oversold. We have a capitulation bottom. We are completely crushed on the monthly time frame. We have absolutely no resistance 
nearby until 1596 in terms of price action. We do have the EMA 12 there at $6.70 USD, of course, because this is NASDAQ listed. So the fact that we have essentially no monthly resistance, we've been beaten down really since February 2021. We had for 17 months in a row, 515 days, we trended lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. We, we had one month there where we had a, a sorry, a, where we had a lower high there. So each following candle for essentially 16 out of 17 months, each high of the next candle was lower than the previous candle. And then we had that one candle where we had a lower high and a bit of resistance formed, right? But essentially nothing nearby, just like a lot of MJ. And basically, you know, anything, any kind of news like safe banking going through, uh, we've seen what happened today. Stocks were up 10, 20 percent. Uh, some names up even more than that. And that's just, again, on rumblings. Right. So what's going to happen when they actually uplist? What's going to actually happen when all of these uh, these big players can enter the space? Right. Take a look at CGC. So CGC today had record monthly volume. And if we take a look at the monthly volume, it equated to. 408 million shares, 408.819 million. So I looked at the high of the month and the low of the month. So I took 389 and 223 and I divided it by two. I got an average of 306 and I times it by the monthly shares of 408, uh, 408 uh, million. So essentially $1.25 billion was traded this month. Not a whole lot. There's been more than that traded in a day, right? Tilray, I believe, had uh, one point. Uh, or I think it was $2.5 billion traded back in March and of this year. But again, usually volume precedes price. And essentially, it's not that much money. But imagine if this price gets back up to, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars. And CGC, you know, is going to run on the on the news of all this new developments in the US because it helps the sector, it helps the industry, it's good for for everybody, right? And also, CGC just released a plan to create a holdings company in the U.S. and uh, get more of a foothold in the U.S. And we're going to see whether or not everything gets passed through from a regulatory standpoint. But it's looking like uh, some people have some issues, some don't. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. But I don't foresee any roadblocks in that uh, endeavor. But essentially, very smart. And we know that the U.S. is the most important market in the world. But again, CGC will benefit in the short term. And then MSOS benefits as well because you know it's on a U.S. major exchange, but also the fact that um, all of these these names, like Truly, that same day that Tilray had 2.5 billion dollars traded, Tilray uh, had 2.5 billion, and Truly only had 12 million. So once that happens, once we get that uplisting, the floodgates are really going to go up, going to open up. And imagine if that you know those billions of dollars that are in CGC and Tilray are, are able to enter Truly. Uh, that's going to be massive for these names in the long term. So even after uplisting, it might not happen right away, right? These names like Trulieve may not hit new all-time highs until after they uplist. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, and generally, uh, when some names actually uplist to the to the NYSE and the NASDAQ, I know that I'm pretty sure that Tilray and uh, I'm pretty sure that CGC was an example when they uplisted. Uh, I, I think it was CGC and Aurora might have been actually. So the fact that can it be uplisted? And then it sold off. But what usually happens is this is where the big money plays, right? So CGC is looking real good. Monthly, all-time record monthly volume. Same thing with MSOS on the monthly time frame. So this is great. Lines up again with an end-of-year rally. And uh, that's safe banking and potential uplisting happening into the end of the year as well. And then same with CGC. Another thing about CGC is we could change the monthly trend here and the weekly trend all in one go. So we have the low, high, higher, low. No one would ex expect this at all, especially coming off such a beaten down, uh, brutal bear market bottom. Uh, low, high, higher, low, and higher, high. So if right now from here, if we break 430 USD, we're, gonna, we're back in a monthly uptrend. So maybe this could be a, a monster swing trade for you. If you, again, not telling you to buy, sell, or hold, this isn't financial advice, this is for entertainment purposes only. But if one were to potentially take a trade here, you could set a stop buy of over, say, 430 or even 450 if we get over that. Uh, then potentially just look to go long, right? Because from there, we have basically no resistance. We could easily go 300 to, you know, 1300%. So, you know, anywhere from three to 13X um, on uh, on a move up, right? And that I'm fairly confident this is going to happen into the end of the year. But again, just 
realize where we are in the industry. We're only four years young here in Canada, and it's still on Schedule 1 in the U.S. There's so much growth ahead of us. I know it's sometimes hard to uh, to see past uh, you know, the, the, the day, the week, the month, but uh, at the end of the day, we only get one life, and this is only going to happen once. So just be grateful that we're here. And technical indicators are starting to look up. Again, coming off monthly oversold, record monthly volume. Usually volume precedes price, and we could potentially change the monthly trend here all in one go. So it's all about 430 resistance going from here on. All right, going to end it there. Thanks again for joining us on The Pursuit of Wealth. It's Rod with Power Group. If you could smash the like on your way out, share the video with anybody that might find value, and uh, we'll see you on the next update. Best of luck out there and excited to see what the next couple of months have in store.